What am I going to give up? You know, for many people, preparing for Lent begins with that question, what am I going to give up? Ash Wednesday, as we all know, leads into us into the season of Lent. And perhaps we all approach the season each in our own way. But the church teaches that Lent is a time for repentance, it's a time for conversion. How one goes about the journey of conversion may be different for each one of us. Perhaps it depends on how we might define conversion. How would you define it for yourself? I think it's an important question to answer because in doing so, then we'll take seriously what this season of Lent offers us. So allow me to share with you a few simple definitions. One is it's a turning away from sin and living more intentionally the gospel message of love. In other words, what changes do I need to make in my own life to help me become a more loving person? And when combined with true contrition or regret for past wrongs, then it leads to repentance and opens us to the grace of true conversion. Here's another simple definition that can help us in this season of Lent. Conversion is growing in a deeper love and gratitude for what God has done for us in Christ Jesus. In other words, to reflect more deeply on the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus and its impact on my life. You know, gratitude is the mother of all virtues, and it always leads to greater charity. We should all want this, no? And here's another definition. It's one of my favorites. It's the shift from what I want for my life to a greater priority and preference for what God wants for my life. In other words, how have I been seeking the will of God for my life on a daily basis? And do I believe that the Lord has my best intentions at heart? And am I willing to seek his will in all things? I think these reflection points for conversion can help you and me get started on this Lenten journey. You may not know this, but historically, the season of Lent was meant to be a period of purification and enlightenment for the catechumens and candidates in the RCIA process. So perhaps we can all join those men, women, and children in the Diocese of Saginaw as they journey through this 40-day Lenten retreat, preparing to come into full communion in the Catholic Church. Friends, in a special way, we ask the Lord Jesus to open their hearts to the gifts and graces that true conversion and repentance brings. Please keep these folks, especially the ones in your own parishes, um, in your prayers in a special way this season of Lent. So how do we take this journey? What must we do? You know, more often than not, people choose to give up something for Lent as a sign of their inner desire for conversion. But if we only give up something and leave out the extra daily prayer and reflection, then the practice of giving something up becomes a diet. The three most important ingredients for conversion as outlined in the gospel are prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. We cannot leave these things out and expect a deeper life in Jesus to happen. But it's always important to remember that conversion is work. It's the Lord's work in us. But it is up to us to fully participate in the Lord's work. But no matter what we choose to do during the season of Lent, let us ask for the grace to remain faithful to our commitment to conversion. Because in doing so, then we can look forward to a beautiful Lenten journey. Allow me to share with you now a change in the distribution of ashes this year. You know, rather than the usual tracing them on the forehead, because of COVID-19 protocols and guidelines, this year ashes will be sprinkled over the top of your head in silence. This method avoids speaking repeatedly in the face of, of persons receiving the ashes and it also avoids any contact, a direct physical contact with them. And this method of distribution is consistent with a tradition that has been used in European countries for a long time. So when you come to Mass in your parish on Ash Wednesday, be expecting 
this new way of distribution of the ashes. And finally, as we all know, Pope Francis announced the year of St. Joseph. It began last December 8th. And in doing so, Pope Francis said that he was establishing this year so that every member of the faithful following St. Joseph's example may strengthen their life of daily faith in the complete fulfillment of God's will. So during this year, you and I are encouraged to implore his intercession and to imitate his virtues and his zeal. To strengthen our life of faith daily in the complete fulfillment of God's will. Now that sounds like conversion to me. So during the season of Lent, as a way of entering into the year of St. Joseph, I will be offering a weekly reflection on one of the titles given to St. Joseph in the Litany of St. Joseph. Though there are many titles, we will reflect upon six of them. I would also encourage people to make your Lenten pilgrimage with St. Joseph this year as a way of celebrating personally the year of St. Joseph and asking St. Joseph as your spiritual father to journey with you. He will teach us many things along the way. You know, in Luke's Gospel, we read that Jesus increased in wisdom and age and favor before God and man under the watchful care of his parents, Joseph and Mary. This too can happen to us if you and I, if we entrust ourselves to the paternal care of St. Joseph. He loves each one of you. And he has the power to increase the presence of God in our lives, taking each of us to greater heights in our spiritual life. We would call this conversion, no? So the church and the world needs St. Joseph. We need him to help us return to the love of Jesus and to living lives of virtue. We need his protection as well as only a spiritual father can give us. And for those interested in consecrating yourself to St. Joseph, Father Donald Calloway provides a wonderful 33-day preparation for this consecration in his book that's called Consecration to St. Joseph, The Wonders of Our Spiritual Father. If you would like to make this consecration on March 19th, the Feast, the feast of St. Joseph, the preparation should begin on Monday, February 15th. But however you decide to take a Lenten journey, I wish you many graces and blessings. So God bless you.